No, 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 no. It's gone. My files are gone. I mean, they just disappeared. I filmed a whole bunch of stuff with Dan from What's Inside. I filmed at his place. I then filmed afterwards. Now, thankfully, Dan's interview was backed up onto Google Drive, so I've got that. But all the other stuff I did afterwards is just gone. I thought I moved them from my memory stick to my computer, but basically they're just gone. They're just nowhere to be seen. This is not how I planned on starting this video, and I guess what I'm going to do now is reach out to Twitter, see if any company is willing to help me out here, and if they do, I guess you guys will see this video. If not, I guess it's me crying in a corner somewhere. Yeah. So if you ever lost files and you're trying to recover it, Hopefully I'll make this video and you know that this software is going to be good enough for you guys to use. So, um, cannot believe it. Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So thankfully to my aid came a company called Clever Files and they produce a software called Disk Drill and Disk Drill is available for Windows and Mac which is pretty awesome and that's exactly what it does. It allows you to recover software and they even said they're so confident that it's going to work that they'll even sponsor the video that I make about this. So here we are. Now it's got a free version as well as a pro version and an enterprise version. The free version allows you to recover up to 500 megabytes. The pro version does unlimited recovery and a whole bunch more. But the big question, does it actually really work in the real world? Well, here is my removable disk. On there you can see I have a file which opens. That was one of my thumbnails. Now I'm going to delete that file. And I'm going to permanently delete that file so it doesn't go into any Windows recycling bin or anything like that. It is now totally gone. Fire up disk drill. And now that's what the interface looks like. And the first thing it does, it detects my internal hard drive as well as my multi-card reader to which the SD card is actually um, connected to. Under my recovery options, I can do a couple of things like a deep scan or I can search for partitions. And if you want information about that particular drive to make sure you're scanning the right thing, click on info and there we go. Okay, but let's start by giving this a proper test. So let's go deep scan and let's click search. And immediately it already starts to divide things up into pictures, video, audio, documents, archives. And you can see that at the bottom it's running through all the bytes and the sectors on that particular external drive. Whilst it's doing that, it's already discovered the picture. And look at this, there's an option there called preview. Now this is the cool bit. If you can click on preview and you can see that your image comes up, it means that file is going to be recovered. You click on recover, or you can go into a Explorer version. And essentially what it does, it opens up like a regular Windows Explorer. This is a recoverable drive. And there is my file for me to use. So that file is not lost. What is also pretty epic about the software is it would look through your Windows recycle bin in case you've cleared that recycle bin but made a mistake and want those documents back. Yes, you can go and retrieve those using disk drill. Link is in the description below. It's one of those toolkits you really want to have in case you need that critical file like I did. Surely saved me. Hope you guys liked it. Check out some of these other cool videos. Hit the head below to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.